Well, friends, here is another travel opinion. <laughs> American Airlines has stated that they are working on making things better for the disabled uh, in flying American Airlines, and specifically those who use wheelchairs. <laughs> so, okay, so they're, they're making a step out of several that they need to make. But in this one, they have stated the following, uh, that uh, they're going to create, or they have created, it's already started, the new computer-generated tags launched last week at airports worldwide replaced the ones written by customer service agents. The new markers resemble checked bag tags, but with a greater wealth of information, such as where to deposit the service upon landing, details about the equipment, including weight, battery type, and pre-existing, let's see here, pre-existing dings or damage and an inventory of disassembled parts. The, that system, American Airlines said all uh, will eliminate the guesswork of reading an agent's handwriting. Oh my God, no, man, no wonder we had so many mistakes and ensure consistency. It will also provide enhanced visibility of the equipment according to a company statement and allow its staff members to share passengers information more easily. <laughs> My wheelchair was on, so <laughs> I didn't want to crash into the table. So they have a picture here and I certainly will leave the link or the links of the news uh, later this year, travelers will be able to save details about their equipment and their service animals in their personal profile. The agent then can pull up the information electronically. The airlines also uh, is developing a way for passengers to track their equipment throughout their journey, it said. So they have a, a picture of the tag uh, that they will be using. So we're consistent, we're constantly innovating on our efforts to deliver a more seamless travel experience for all of our customers. Kim Sisik, the airline's vice president of customer experience said in a statement to the Washington Post, the advancement not only makes travel more convenient for our customers who use wheelchairs and other mobility devices, it also equips our team members to help deliver a world-class customer experience. So, you know, folks, I'm, I'm hoping truly that this, uh, these tags uh, work so <laughs> and help us. But imagine that. People had to read the agent's handwriting. So no wonder the wheelchairs were de delivered, you know, in crazy places. Accessibility advocates applauded the <laughs> carrier for its commitment to passengers with mobility needs, but <laughs> they cautioned that th the new tagging system was one small step along road towards obstacle-free travel, and that was what I wanted to say here. <laughs> it's great that they created tags. It's great that they'll be able to scan and track our wheelchairs much better and I'll have more information for um, our wheelchairs, and hopefully they'll deliver them right there at the door where we need them. However, um, there's a whole lot of other things that they need to <laughs> work on, like you know, getting us, the human body, our body, into the airplane without hurting us. <laughs> so. You know, and that's not all of what we asked for. I mean, it's great that they did it, Thank you, American Airlines. But, you know, you need to work on all the other things, you know, like the up-to-date training for your staff and agents, you know, the possibility of us uh, using our wheelchairs inside the plane for, for you to buckle us down. So, 
you know, it's all those kind of things that you still need to work on. It's certainly more efficient and it should help prevent wheelchairs from falling through the cracks <laughs> from a data standpoint. I was cautious with that sentence, <laughs> said John Morris, founder of the wheelchairtravel.org. But I don't necessarily know if it, uh, if it all, it'll have a significant impact on the actual passenger experience. It's true that our wheelchairs will be a little bit more protected. However, you know, we still have issues getting on the plane, getting off the plane, and pilots asking us to get off the plane <laughs> because he has to turn the plane around. We won't say what airlines did that. But <laughs> it's all these incidents and all these issues that we've had, and is that going to also be worked on? That's my question to American Airlines. Are you going to work on the other issues of getting us in the aisle wheelchair uh, gently and getting us to our um, seat, you know, in a way that we're not dropped, in a way that we can, you know, get to our seat uh, w without <laughs> injuring ourselves, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's not a question of, do we have permission to fly? Each pe person in a wheelchair knows if they have the tolerance for flying. Um, you know, if the person is very ill and the family is very concerned about them flying, well then yeah, they'll have to go to the doctor and, and get permission or not get permission to fly. But if we are in good condition to fly, then, then American Airlines, you, you have to help us with that will need a little bit of assistance, and that does not mean dropping us, that does not mean shoving us in a <laughs> seat that we, we will be extremely uncomfortable and in a, an accordion position. <laughs> so, you know, people demanding to, to take our seats <laughs> because they want to sit there, that's also happened. <laughs> so, you know, Here's the rest of the article. As a wheelchair user, Moore said he has faced every imaginable inconvenience. Airlines have forgotten to check his equipment onto his flight. They have not delivered it to the jet bridge in a timely fashion. They have damaged his chair and lost it. <laughs> How do you lose a wheelchair? Come on. And we delivered it right there. But, you know, hopefully these tags will, you know, eliminate losing our wheelchairs, having them broken. I don't necessarily think this solves those issues, he said. And we'll have to see. You know, I could see how handwritten tags or, you know, pieces of paper that are dangling from our wheelchair is not going to help at all, you know, making sure that they don't damage it. It's just going to be able to help with the tracking. So, you know, American Airlines, let's, let's see how this goes. Keep track of those wheelchairs that you've damaged. Keep track of those wheelchairs that you couldn't figure out where to deliver them, you know, and, and give us feedback. And we will certainly give you feedback because that's what this is all about. You know, it's teamwork. Uh, we cannot... You know, there's, there's rules and regulations that the DOT already gave you, and that's what we want to know. If you are working on all those issues, because there's a lot of them, you know, to, and here's the rest of the, the last, one of the last paragraphs. To address such concerns itself, the DOT proposed a rule in February that would categorize the misleading of passengers so I'm not quite sure how these tags are going to prevent them from breaking wheelchairs, but we'll have to see how it goes. And for the other airlines, we haven't heard anything. We haven't heard anything from Delta. We haven't heard anything from uh, United. We haven't heard anything from uh, Canada, Canada Airlines. So couldn't tell you. I haven't heard anything. So we need to keep the pressure on. The DOT needs to keep the pressure on so uh, because this is the only way we're going to get, you know, what we need. 
and the airline sometimes doesn't get that. Uh, but training, retraining, uh, people who cannot, don't have the strength to pick up those aisle wheelchairs should not participate in lifting up those wheelchairs. Because it already happened to me that our person in the back tried to help and, and the person could not hold the wheelchair. It was too heavy. So they dropped me. So, you know, <laughs> we got to work at this, folks. Uh, if you don't have the strength and you need to know if you do or you don't, uh, don't participate in trying to pick somebody up. And you have to go through the training. So I think that other airlines need to speak up, need to tell us how things are going. They need to report to the DOT to let them know what kind of things they've done to, to make changes. Uh, because this has been going on for too many years and, and we're finally at a point where we're listening to each other and, and this is really important for us because we need to get from point A to point B. I won't go into all that, but I would like to hear back from other airlines and to see how they're doing and what their plans are so far. So if you have an opinion, if you have a observation about this, feel free to post down below and to share this video far and wide <laughs> so <laughs> that we get the message across and then hopefully United, American Airlines, and Delta, and all these other airlines will see it and say, oh yeah, we should publicize something about our efforts so that we can see it, that we know it, and that we can feel a little bit more confident in flying. Hoping, I'm hoping that this video was helpful. Uh, feel free to like the video if you'd like to help. Um, that is like the most helpful thing for me right now and my channel for likes and comments. So that would be awesome. Uh, also to uh, look at uh, any of these videos that pop up here at the bottom. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming and spending a few moments with me. Take care. <laughs>